Hello everyone and welcome to the judging of the UHB contest which has recently happened within the Hermit Craft community. I'm joined here by Mr. Mumbo Jumbo. Hello, hello, hello. And Mr. Joe Hills. Howdy, Asuma. Judgmental Joe here. <laughs> Judgmental <laughs> Joe. Perfect name for today's events, I guess. Um, so you two are probably as clueless as I am as to what actually the UHB is. It's the yeah. Ultimate Hermit build-off. It's a group event that happened recently. It's a mix of a UHC and a building competition. And that's about as much as I as I know right now. Um, yeah. Yeah, I haven't heard anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it sounds cool. It sounds amazingly cool. Um, but there are there are judges required in order to determine who is the winner. So no one knows who's won yet. And it has been trusted to us to use our uh, our opinions, I guess, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah. and and judge each of the builds. So... If ignorance leads to impartiality, then I'll be as impartial as possible. That I, good. I will nod and agree and pretend I know what you just said. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was Joe literally Hills. just thinking. <laughs> it was it was too smart for my brain. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's a bit concerning considering yeah, we're we're meant to be judges. We should be understanding this sort of thing, but I'm I'm sure we'll be fine. Yeah, but that we, we were kind of like the only people around. All all the smarty pants already played the game, so uh <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we were they got all right, so if we fly up into the sky, are you guys in game mode one or zero? No, game mode zero. Okay, well, let me do a game mode one. At, oh, oh, there we go, both at the same time. Awesome. We've got it sorted. Excellent. So this is like the central area of the the game. I believe like players had to come out here and scavenge for resources. And right. then there's these these blocks at each end. They're, they're clay, they're colorful. They've got a button on them, and they teleport to each of the areas. So there's five different teams in total, and they've created five builds. And what we right. have to do is go and, and judge them. So the way we're going to do it is we're all going to record together, openly talk about our opinions and stuff on the builds. Yep. Uh, we can individually track like what we think at you know, a certain point. If the first thing you, you see is a 10 out of 10 and the next one's better, then you know you should be able to judge or sorry, change your score. So then we can come back at the end and then we can you know, tally up the scores and average them out, something like that. And then we'll find out who's potentially won. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. So it should be simple. Should we start off with the blue one since this is here? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Who wants to do the honors? I'll let you do. Oh, oh, <laughs> whoever did that, okay. it teleports all of us. All right, and nice. Who's, who's now stuck underground? I, I fell there in a go. hole. I'm assuming that's a trap <laughs> of some sort. Yeah, deduct points for that one. I'd say, Joe. I'd say you know, <laughs> it has to be done. It's a judgment trap. Are we gonna? Are we gonna like? Oh, look at these chests. They are a bit. They're slightly organized. Do we have to judge them on the, how organized their chests are? I mean, yeah, this enchanting oh. table's not even in with the group. I mean, look, they've just... Yeah, mm. just left it on its lonesome. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I yeah, do yeah, appreciate yeah. the matching beds, though. You know, they could have chosen any color, but they chose the same one as their clay teleporters. That, that I think, has That's very value. true, yeah. That's, That's very true, very true. Yeah. So something strikes me straight away is that this, this build isn't really, like rounded up for approaching it it makes sense once you're standing here i don't know if that's something that should be a thing or not but if we see some other builds where like the outsides have been rounded off if that makes sense yeah feel yeah like that should be important yeah i see what you, this is like a hollywood movie set where they've only bothered with with like the external walls that you can see and then everything else yeah. is just yeah, even so like I think, the outside I think we'll let that one go they had to do this in survival and it says movie set piece and once you're standing in it it feels pretty amazing. Oh, um, okay. They've they've kind of got away with it there. If they say movie set piece, then oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> That's one there of those are, things. There are, however, some like open areas where you can just sort of see the void beyond. <laughs> Well, that's, that's traditional. Yeah. You know they're going to put in some CGI Godzilla or something back there anyway. Yeah. So that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is cool. I'm liking though. this like burn down done. bit here. This is cool. I just realized I'm, it I'm says, a... "Do not leave the center road." Whoops. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> so you're supposed to stay here to witness it all. Right. I'm liking it. I feel like uh, I feel like there's there's a story here that isn't being told. Yeah. Like it's it's all good. We can see some cranes. Something's been burnt down. It feels like it needed something to tie it together and make it make a little bit of sense. But otherwise, I'm really loving the the build palette, the way the buildings look. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's it's a nice build. I mean, you, you know, this is. 
yeah, this is this is pretty cool. I mean, I'm liking. I'm just. I'm liking the way that the the lights are kind of hanging down. It looks. It looks good. It's a, it's a cool build. We've got the nice cobblestone usage. It's kind of nice and ruined. And I'm I'm always a big fan of ruined of ruined areas. So yeah. that, it definitely gets bonus points for me there, and the use of fire and everything. I like that it, they collected cool. like dead bushes and ferns as well, because it's yeah. all done in survival. So that's that's pretty impressive, I think. Yeah, they've actually had to think about it. That's one of those things that you haven't... It's not like you've gone into creative mode and gone, oh, I, I could place up a dead bush here. They've actually had to go out and gather those up. So that, that, that's that got to be worth something. And the mossy... Co can you make mossy... Co you can make mossy cobblestone Yeah, you now, can use you? vines to make it, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was so going to say. So done a little bit of that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting a good feel from this, but I feel like I'll know more about this one when I see some of the others, if that makes sense. Yeah, I yeah, was thinking I'm, we should reserve the numerical judgment. Like, let's not give the numbers for each at the be like when we first look at them. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that now. I might take like the occasional note, but uh, yeah, should we, should we go visit the next one then? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah, I'm more than happy to do that. I think I've okay. seen enough of this one. I can't think of anything else that I want to look at. Maybe get like one last look. There is a diamond horse out here, which is diamond horse. Yeah, <laughs> I think you might have escaped potentially. Oh. <laughs> so I imagine good. they got this in the overworld and brought it back with them. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, residency. <laughs> see, that could be really <laughs> dramatic in the film, though. I could see Nicolas Cage riding in on this pack horse or whatever, <laughs> catching a child yeah, falling true. off a burning traffic light or something. You you could do a <laughs> lot with true. it. That's very true. Right, so do we go back to to mainland? Is that is that where we're going? I okay. believe that's the button to be pressed. I'll press that Would button. Would you like to pick where we're going next? Right. Should we go... I would say go clockwise in case we get very confused very fast and forget yes. where exactly we've been. <laughs> okay, so that was blue, first of all. All right. Ooh. Oh, now this... This is pretty cool. Right. I got what I the first thing that I got to say I really like about this is that it attempts to take up the entirety of the the space that's here and yeah, that you can yeah. approach it from all angles. That's cool. I'm a I fan mean, of that. And to make a structure like this in like survival mode in such a kind of short space of time to be able to to pull off that well-roundedness with different things going on like the tents out here and then you've got the pathways and all yeah. the different trees and everything that that can't be sniffed at that's 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 pretty cool and by the look of things it also has an indoors it does have an inside yeah i'm waiting to go inside i've just seen whose area this is i was under the impression we weren't supposed to know <laughs> well, uh, don't but tell i us. kind of got i kind of got a little bit of a hint at who might have been involved in this anyway well i don't know right, Asuma. Okay. you know this could be like fan fiction maybe those signs like if we could find a sign that says mumbo jumbo's tent and joe hills's tent even though we didn't build it you know that's true. That's true. So let's Joe, not make assumptions. Us off the scent. <laughs> that's, that's oh true. wow! That's true. Look at the interior here. Yeah, look, they've got a slaughtering table. That's so cool. So I'm really I thought, liking this one. I thought they'd done some redstone contraptions. I was getting a little bit excited, but it doesn't look like <laughs> that's the case. That's but how is, you win is... over Mumbo. <laughs> yeah. You know, just build a dirt hut and fill it with redstone. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that that is that's always the way to go. Yeah. <laughs> But no, this looks this is super cool in here. I like it. I don't know if this piston was meant to be extended and has stopped extending or if it's or if it's meant to be a broken part of the you table. You are very curious with the redstone, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, so I just have to know that. how it works. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I could see it yeah. going either way. Yeah. Like the part where you decapitate the person or the zombie, you got to get closer. Your arm doesn't reach that far. That's very true. That's very true. Yeah, I haven't really I don't know. We'll we'll move on from the table, I think, because we could we could spend the entire time talking about that. I'm liking the fact that so these pressure plates. What do these are these pressure plates just for decoration? Do you reckon? Most. Sorry, likely, I'm gonna stop yeah. talking about redstone now. <laughs> 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 every single every single redstone component I see, I wonder if it does anything. I, I noticed sign over here. all the animals the are leashed up. Is what it is. Oh, Ooh, they also have a bunch of heads in the chest in the center here. Yeah, these give them extra points. Um, so. Right. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's all of their chests. I'm told that sometimes it's obvious, sometimes it's not. I didn't see any in the last one, but then I wasn't no. looking in chests or noticing them. Um, I like this statue I, over here. This is a cool statue. Oh, yeah, that statue was awesome. The I really like a lot of this. If I could if I could just to try and be a little bit balanced, say maybe one thing that's bad about it. I do feel like this interior, although it's fantastic, it feels a little unfinished. Like, yeah. uh, 
Yeah. The way the roof is is a bit janky and blocky. And then yeah. this bit here is fantastic. But that's kind of where it ends. There isn't a lot of other furniture. No, um, it does feel like they ran out of time. In fact, in, in general, especially on the outside as well, kind of this back end here, it feels like they went, ah, we need to get some, <laughs> we, we need to play some things. So there was like a sprinkling of bushes and maybe yeah, some bone meal. Grass. But that's better than nothing, I think. But yeah, yeah you're sure. all right. But then again, they're working with limited time. I mean, none of us have played this, so we don't know what it's like to... No, to, exactly. To build, but yeah, the statue is pretty cool as well. <laughs> yeah. And that, like, should we take into account how difficult it is to get certain blocks? Because I feel like I like there was a lot of variety used in the previous one, but then they, we do have like observers here. And... Yeah, there's observers for sure. The pistons, yeah. they're not the easiest things to craft. You've got to no. get a variety of materials together, yeah. I gotta yeah, say, I, I really I like the pamphlets. Definitely factor that in. Yeah. Well, don't you oh, like sorry, Joe? Jeremy no, I was gonna say. Uh, sorry, no, I talked over you. My bad. I was saying, I really <laughs> like these tent flaps. Like it's such a simple detail, the way they overlap each other. But oh, that's true. It just it feels like fabric on top of fabric. It's yeah. smart in a really intuitive way that I appreciate. Yeah. Yeah, I no, like these them tents too. are cool. And the the like the the pathway as well is well done. Even though it's only kind of dirt and different types of dirt, um, it looks good. I like it. It looks really I like good. this place. I'm I'm impressed again. Mm -hmm. It's impressed me. Me too. Should we uh should we go check out another one then? Back to yeah, the mainland. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. So we're going back to mainland. Okay, that that sends us one at a time, I believe. That way, there yeah. we go. So continuing right. clockwise, it'll be magenta. Is that I believe? Yeah, magenta. I think I'm fairly certain. Right, ready to go, Joe. Sure am. Just taking Boom. my notes. There we go. <laughs> I haven't made a single note yet. I'm holding it all in memory. Now, this <laughs> is slightly similar to something we've already seen. Yeah. It's kind of like Very both of them similar. together in some ways, because it's got this central corridor. Like yeah. It feels like it's meant to be viewed from the inside, but you know what? They actually have a full outside to it, too. They have paths and stuff around the sides, which I really this appreciate. Is... This is a this is quite a cool one. I think this is one of those things that they obviously intended for it to be viewed from the inside, a bit like the movie set one. So it was obvious that we we're, we're meant to be viewing it from the inside. But the fact that they've actually put the effort into actually building the outside shows that yeah, yeah that's a, that's a nice touch. And they've put a lot of effort into the outside as well. It's not like it's not like it's been slapped together in the last few minutes. There's there are some structures here, and it's fully well rounded. It covers pretty much every single corner. Um, obviously, you know, it would be nice to have like maybe a tree or two around the outside, but I can't complain too much. It looks, it looks cool. Yeah, this it... side here feels a little bit more complete than the opposite side, but uh, yeah, you wouldn't have yeah. seen this side as much as you're coming from that corner, so that kind of makes sense. What yeah. is this supposed to be in the middle though? Like, because there's there's like a face, and mm -hmm. then the yeah. water flows down. Oh, there might be something down here to look at. Oh, that's all. Also... Oh, this is neat. It's so like a cave like that a leads cave? to the void. <laughs> <laughs> well, aren't good. all caves that spew forth from the mouths of weird, ruined demon sculptures, you know, ultimately going to lead us into the void? <laughs> most, most likely, I guess. Yeah. It will lead us this... into some sort of peril. <laughs> yeah, I, I personally... This kind of reminds me of something from, like, Indiana Jones or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. It has that sort of, that sort of vibe. Tomb Raider vibe. Well, yeah. I like that. I like that the faces continue on each of the walls. It does. Yeah, this feels super like Indiana Jones Tomb Raidery over yeah. here. Yeah, it's very cool. It's I also very, like very these cool. walkways on the side here. Like yeah. you know, obviously we're flying around a lot, but it feels like this is meant to be viewed from the ways that people would walk through it. It, yeah. it feels like a real space. Yes. It's, very, it's walking through and behind the pillars. It gives you like a real good sense of. Of what the build is like, it's 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 really cool actually. I wouldn't mind building something like like this myself. This is a. Uh... I'm I'm now like really impressed with that they've had to come up with this sort of on the spot a bit, you know, like yeah, this is done entirely while you're recording, and because I don't think any of it is edited, it's all it's all just live recording whilst playing, and then you've got yeah. to go out and gather the materials as well. It's uh it's pretty pretty like ambitious. I yeah, really this... like it. Yeah, and this is one of those things as well is that. This would only work, it's not something that you could really fluff, in that you've, like, th this could only work if you manage to finish it. So it's a bit of a bold move to build something like this, because obviously you have, like, all the faces, like, yeah. to, this definitely feels complete. This probably feels like the most, the most finished one so far. I'm not seeing any... I, I'd agree with you on that one, actually, yeah. 
you can you can sort of go look there you go Every, everything here makes sense yeah i There's think the no... last one came very close to that as well though just just the interiors of the temple was maybe a little bit lacking. Yeah. you know this but is no, a this weird is thing right, right here have you guys seen this uh glowing block underneath the half slab I saw that. I, I didn't really know what it was. Maybe it's meant to be like, I don't know. There seems to be some skulls here as well. Maybe it's like where you put like a bag of sand mm -hmm. to be weighed. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Oh. And then it would change something. Yeah. I know what it would yeah. do. It would close up this cave underneath here, so the river would sweep over us, and then we'd Maybe. have to fill flee. Up, fill up and then flow over here. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Well, either well, way, this... I'm, I'm good with what we've seen here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Want to uh, to move on? Yeah. Oh, oh, that's wow, something. This, this is taking a completely different approach. <laughs> I mean, well, I I, I heard something. Uh, oh, that's a lot of heads collected. This one says, now, "Look deep within, and you too can ascend." He's got a beacon as well. How's he pulled that off? I, I've got a feeling that maybe some of these supplies you can get out there in the world, because look at how right. many slime blocks there are as well. I've got a feeling yeah. that perhaps perhaps when it comes to materials, maybe it shouldn't be a factor, because if they got a beacon, I doubt they fought the wither. Um, no. Plus, there's a lot of wither skulls, so I'm guessing... I don't know. I Yeah, we don't know. I, I think it's quite obvious who this one would be. <laughs> yeah, I have a little bit of insider knowledge, okay? Um, right. After it happened, there was a little bit of discussion from Ren and Doc saying that theirs was basically appalling. Now, right. unless Iskow or someone else was inspired to, to put a sword through Ren's head, I, I, I'm guessing I'm guessing that this is Ren and Doc's plot, right? And so with with their attempt failing, they, they went for a comedic approach, which is a, not a bad idea at all. <laughs> I like that, yeah. Well, it's certainly right, got I the see. giggles out of me. Is yeah. <laughs> the theme ruins? Because if this is like individual ruination, I mean that's that's about right. We we saw a ruined town, we saw two ruined temples. Now we witness a ruined man. Oh, <laughs> maybe there was a maybe there was like a global theme. Oh yeah. yeah, it was ruins. Yeah, it was ruins. The the theme was ruins. I'm looking inside Ren's brain, and all I see is cobwebs. <laughs> Wait, well, did they I actually put cobwebs the in there? I. They did. I appreciate the fact that they've <gasps> actually parrots. taken the time to put the cobwebs in there. Yeah, that's There's brilliant. parrots in here. And parrots? Is there? Yeah, yeah. They've got, they've got three parrots. <laughs> and a lot of cobwebs. So that's, that's how cool. Brent, Ren's brain works. There's, there's just parrots that tell him what to say. Yeah. And then, yeah, so it says it down at the bottom here, Ren ruined, Ren ruined us, the end. <laughs> Do you that's a salty dock? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That probably like, is. I think I think there's some definite merit for salvaging this with some comedy and making something that is pretty cool to look at. But yeah, unfortunately, I think uh, if we were to take it seriously, this one would uh, fall behind the others a fair bit. But it's yeah, cool. Potentially, it's very cool. Anyway, it's, it's pretty cool. All right, sure. Are we gonna head? Are we gonna head through into the next one now? Is it ready to go? Let's do it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, here we are. Whoa. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. This is I'm pretty liking... cool. Yeah, I'm liking that there's two things to focus on. Yeah. That's terrific. Um, and this is a beautiful structure. Like, this is a wow. really good structure. It has such a nice shape to it. It has tons of different, like, tiers to it. I wouldn't be able to pull something like that off if you gave me, like, 50 hours. <laughs> I would never be able to build <laughs> something like that. So this is cool. And they've got yeah, Cup I'm really, on the inside. I'm, ooh. Oh, I think I know who it is now. I was trying to think who would have built this one, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, Cub and Scar, I could totally see building something like this. It's yeah. uh, It's got Scar's, you know, ability to build trees and structures, and it's got Cub's, uh, like, use of, of, like, vivid colors getting chucked in here. Like, you've got some nether warts mixed in and yeah. nether wart blocks. That's a very that's a very Cub fan thing to, to be bold with those with those uh, bright colors. You make, you make a good point about the trees. I hadn't even noticed... They're these gorgeous. Trees, these trees are. <laughs> That's why I didn't amazing. notice them because they look entirely gorgeous. Yeah. Can you imagine if real Minecraft <laughs> trees actually look like this? That would make the game so, so crazy. So. It cool. would. Yeah. They they could they could certainly take uh, some lessons from what other people. <laughs> yeah. <have done> their game. <laughs> yeah. 
Then again, do you think it might be difficult though for like someone getting into it if like villages were like gorgeous buildings with amazing trees around them? It could get a little bit daunting to try and start building true, when the true. when the bar's been set so high. Also, you wouldn't you wouldn't even you wouldn't even want to build anything. You'd be like, I'm just gonna live in the village. The village is great. I'm happy with That's this. It. Yeah, this I'm tempted cool. to press this button, but I think it will dispense the uh, cactus and the sand down below. Yeah, I wouldn't touch it if you can avoid it. I don't <laughs> know. I gotta say, I like how this is kind of showing two distinct types of ruin. You know? Yeah. We have That's what I liked. a dry ruin, and we have a jungle ruin, a moist ruin. And uh, dividing them with the river is interesting. I mean, I don't know. There's just something about this that I enjoy. Should we deduct points because it's completely impossible for these two to be this close to one another? In in <laughs> oh no, that that can that can happen. Oh, do you mean like uh, structures can't be? No, that I just mean in real life. Are. If you couldn't you couldn't have a you couldn't have like a jungle, lovely, luscious, bright green oh, yeah. area, and then a desert directly opposite, separated by a river. But <laughs> I think I think I think they should be able to. You know, do something like yeah. that. It's Minecraft, after you all. You can suspend mm -hmm. disbelief. You can suspend disbelief. The, the only, the only place I think this plot falls short is that it doesn't try and fill up the entire space. Like, yeah, this is nice to look at, but you got to sort of focus in and get close to it for it to kind of, you know, you, the, the space around it kind of detracts from it in a way. But you can see yeah. they had trouble with that with the desert because they've sort of filled it up almost all the way on one side, but not on the other. Yeah, I think they, they kind of... They, they, what we have to take into account here is that this is hugely ambitious to try and pull off in survival mode in in a time limit. So yes, absolutely. I mean, yeah, to to be able to have actually gone as far as they did is pretty impressive. But no, I I agree. Maybe maybe they were almost too ambitious, and that was kind of a little bit their their downfall in a way. If they were they're... too ambitious here, they definitely got the main buildings built, which is a good yeah. thing. It doesn't. Yeah. The buildings themselves don't look unfinished. They look done, but yeah, it's just the, the surrounding area, uh, unfortunately, is isn't isn't quite so good. All right, then we've seen all the builds. I think yep. we put our heads together. We take a break from recording, figure out what our scores are going to be, and, and yep. then we come back in. Seems right, reasonable. Sounds good to me. Okay, we've all given all of the plots a score between one and ten. We've added all of the extra points they get for having player heads. And now we're going to go through the plots in reverse order. Um, this one right here has actually finished last, which is kind of surprising, with 31 points. Um, I think where they fell short is that they only got eight player heads, and yeah, yeah. some of the other teams managed to get quite a few more. Um, so me and Mumbo both gave this one an eight. I think this is sort of uh, you know a pretty well-rounded plot. The only place I think they fell short on was the interior. For me, if the interior had been more decorated, this would have been a nine. Uh, Mumbo. Yeah, I'm kind of, I kind of feel the same way. It just, it was just a tiny bit. It was just missing like the tiniest little finishing touches, and it's obviously because they ran out of time. But um, no, it was a really good build though. I, I, I liked it a lot. Yeah, and uh, Joe, you gave this one a seven. I did. You know, I love it. It's just. I've judged a lot of build competitions, and most of them involve small children. This is ludicrously better than what most small children would build. However, <laughs> other hermits on the server had some builds that I felt were a little bit better. Like, this is way better than what I could make, but unfortunately, I wasn't competing. They were competing against a lot of talented hermits. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's fair like that. and reasonable. Um, if we head back to the mainland, we'll go to Joint 4th. We've got two... Two ones here. Uh, blue and black are joint fourth. So blue is the very first one that we looked at. Well, actually, okay. they'd be joint third at that point. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course they would. Right. Yeah, joint third. Yeah. I'm looking at it in reverse, but yeah, you're right. Um, <laughs> so me and Mumbo both gave this one a seven. Yeah. Um, my reasoning would be that I think when you stand here, this one is really good. It really sort of sucks you in, but it loses points with... Uh, just how bare it is from the outside, like it really kind of dispels the atmosphere for me. Yeah, for sure. Like they, it just, and I, I get that they've tr almost. I feel like they've almost tried to get away with it by calling it a movie set piece. It's like that was it's that like was a, a good idea, I think. You know. Yeah, no, it's it's really smart, but it's it's not fooling me. Uh, I I think that there, there's a chance that. Yeah, it just it was a bit of a big ambitious project, and although it looks really cool and the details are nice, it just doesn't quite have the scale that some of the other builds have had. So, yeah, yeah, for sure. 
Uh, Mumbo, uh, sorry, Joe, you gave this one a six? You know, I love it architecturally, but if you're going to make something a movie set, it has to have a story to it. You know, I come in here and I'm trying to figure out what is the plot, what is the action, what is the camera going to show, how do actors move through this space, and I just don't see it communicated clearly. This is a great set for something, but it's not something that my imagination can latch onto without additional cues. I agree with that as well. That's yes. one of the things that crossed my mind was like, this is cool, but like, what is it and where is it? Yeah. Um, so that that's 32 points in total. If we head back, okay. um, the next one is 32 points as well, which is Renz. Now, I expected this one to be dead last. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mumbo, you and me mean. have a habit of voting the same score. I gave yep. this one a five. You gave it a five. I'll let you explain um, this time first. I mean, you know, like it definitely had its merit. I wasn't obviously five seemed like the, the right score for it just because it it gave us a reaction as we came through, and that's what that's what this game's all about. You know, sometimes you don't have to build the most serious things. This this made us feel something um, when we first saw it. It may not have been awe and amazement, and you know. It, taking a look at all the beautiful details in it but it, it definitely is an impressive build and it, it's quite cool and it's, it's a fun one to look at so i think that's that's yeah. personally why i chose the five How for me you? for me the five it was just it was a save you know it was a really good save but it was still a save from yeah a calamity of some sort i mean <laughs> that's based on what they've said they called it a calamity so uh joe you gave this one an eight it expresses ruination in many ways. First, we have multiple <laughs> of the traditional humors. We have blood, and we also have, like, blood. bile or something here, you know. In addition, <laughs> we have both the ruination of a man, but if you come over here, there's a nice little sign here that says, uh, not to be viewed from here. They have not only ruined a man, but they have ruined an entire space. One-fourth of this area is not ignored. It's ruined. <laughs> like, other people just left some gaps. These guys wrecked that. And I think that this exploration of the theme should be rewarded. So that was why I gave it an 8. Yeah, you are the comedian of the group, so it makes sense that you would see much more of the comedic value here. Also, how is blood like a, a traditional comedy? <laughs> no, it's not a, no, it's not a comedy, it's a humor. A so humor, there, there are awesome. four humors. Yeah. Blood, bile, ichor, and what's the other one? Um, I, it's, it's like I old Greek now. medicine... Like, I'm not Galen, oh. so I don't know them by heart. Oh, but ah, yeah, so... good... I've forgotten. I've forgotten it. Yeah, you've got a good point there. That That's funny. Yeah, I hadn't even Fair thought enough. of that, obviously. <laughs> only you, only your mind would go there. So, yeah. <laughs> um, So they got 14 skulls, which made a huge difference to the score as well. They got the most out of everyone. So it's tight margins, and that kind of pulled them up to, uh, to the black team. No, yep. sorry, the blue team. Yeah. Um, yeah, so they got 32 points as well, tied third, as, as Joe said. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to Cyan, which was over this side. Okay, so this is second place, which I guess reveals the winner. It does, yeah, it does reveal the winner. If um, you can remember the colours. I can't remember the colours, but I can remember Magenta the build. Magenta is the winner, but we know the build, yeah. So I gave yeah. this one an 8. I think I kind of already stated like where it fell short for me, just that it didn't try to spread out across the plot a bit more um the yeah. builds are fantastic but you you kind of have to focus in on the square around them they don't take up much more space than where they are uh mumbo you gave this one a nine yeah i just those trees every like the, the builds are stunning i just feel like you know they were super ambitious with it it was it was a, a big move to go for for something like this um and although it's a shame i would have given it a 10 if they had filled the entire area um but I, I didn't feel like detracting too much from them because I just feel like these projects are, are so ambitious that, that yeah, there, there's no way they would have been able to full, fill the full plot. So these are two super cool builds. And uh, Joe, you gave this one a nine as well. You know, I, it has all of the things I lacked about the last one we looked at. It's got this sense of duality. We've got decay and desiccation on the one side and then we've got creeping new life on the other with the jungle and that sort of duality i think really speaks to us about the varied nature of ruin we're not all ruined the same way we're all ruined in different ways and this has that message but it's also really well constructed so that was why it was a nine for me 
I, li I like the deep insights there. I was going to say, it was much, I was just, we're just talking about, oh, they haven't placed these blocks properly and blah, 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 blah. And then Joe Hills comes in with yeah. far, far more <laughs> deeper meaning into it, which is well, very that's, cool. That's why we have, you know, diversity in our panel here. It's yeah, just yeah. Um, so they've got <laughs> 10 heads, which gives them a total of 36 points. If we go over to the next one, uh, which, by the way, they got 11 heads and they won with one more point. So Magenta has won with 37. Yeah. Um, I, I I voted a 9 for this one. This would have been my closest to a 10. The thing that does it for me with this plot, like, is just, like, how you feel like you know what it is. Like, I think that's what the blue plot struggled with a little bit. It was a movie set, but you weren't quite sure what the movie was. Here, yeah. it's, it's Indiana Jones, it's Tomb Raider... There's the face over there. The pumpkin kind of makes it feel like it might be alive. You've got faces in the wall. There's just a lot of stuff here that really, like, gives you a sense of what this is beyond yeah. what you can see, you know, like what you can interpret. And I really like that. Um, yeah. Mumbo, you gave it gave it a nine as well? Yeah, I just, I really like the sense of depth that you get, especially if you're walking along these areas here and you're kind of passing behind the pillars. You just get, like, a really nice feeling of, tran you're kind of moving through... Uh, a 3D space. There's lots of layers to it. There's lots going on. I like it. I yeah. This is by far. This was on on par with the previous one for me. But I'm 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 really happy that it won. It's it's a really cool build. And Joe, you gave it an eight. I did give it an eight. I love it from a technical standpoint. Everything you guys said about it that was positive, I completely agree with. It didn't make me question anything, which is something that you gave it points for. You're like, I understand what this is, but. I like my art to challenge me, or, you know, and I just, this is just good. It, it's great, and that's, that's great for it, but it wasn't worth the nine to me because it didn't really make me question anything or struggle in any way. There was a lack of mystery. Mm -hmm. It was all solved for you. Yeah, exactly. And But you couldn't have laid it out more beautifully, and I'm glad they won. I think it's a, a great build, but that was just the reasoning behind my particular scoring. And so with 11 heads, they got a total of 37. And also, very nearly, maybe could have perhaps lost because we only saw two heads here. And we had to go through the chests and fish them all out and then put them into an individual chest. So, I mean, that's a thing. But uh, we, we tried to check every nook and cranny to make sure we would discovered every head. And we did that. Yeah. And so I think we have judged fairly. And I guess we conclude it with Magenta Team are the winners. Congratulations, guy! You, you did a brilliant job. I now need to find out who actually built this because I'm not 100% yes. certain and give them an actual congratulations. But yeah, this is this is brilliant work. Indeed, uh, that's a great note to end on. I think so. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, if well, I should have said this at the beginning of the video. But if you don't know what the UHB is, there's a whole <laughs> series of people putting these builds together. Yeah. Um, probably not so relevant now, but that stuff will be found <laughs> in the description box. Yeah, bad time to mention it. Uh, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I agree with so, you, Suba. It's a great time to pause this video and go watch all of those before you hear us say goodbye. Uh, yeah, until yeah. next time, this is Joe Hills uh, from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep yeah, adventuring. Thanks for joining me, guys. See you later. See you all soon. Bye-bye.